All right, today we're doing a split fountain in the screen printing. And if you want to know what a split fountain is, is when one side of the, the print is one color and the other side of the print is another color and it mixes right down the center. Today we are doing white on one side and blue on the other and it's going to mix right down the center and you want to flood it just like so. Do a test print to get things rolling because that's what you need to do. Put this thing down here, and then we're going to print. Three times and then bring it back, pop it up, and then we're gonna flash it. And then I'm gonna hit it again, even though this is a test print. I want to sh show you guys what a, what a split fountain, what I mean by that. How the white fades into the blue. That's what a split fountain looks like. Light shines on it. It looks a whole lot better. Yeah, it does. We're gonna use these T-shirts that I made yesterday. Um, some people might call it vintage. I call it. It's the actual thing is called stone wash. When you uh, make it look older than it is, and then I bleached it like a tie dye, like I've done the black ones recently. So we're going to put that splint fountain on here and make it look like it's from the 80s, but really it's not. So that's what we're doing. Flooding. Flooding. Then we flash. Forty-five seconds, and then when that's done, we hit it with the fan, and then we do it again. There you go. Because I don't have room. If you're following, if you're subscribed to my channel, you should know by now that I don't have room for a belt dryer. So my second cure that I always do is with my heat press and it works great. Even though that I have a homemade thing here to make it, um, I'll put this on top here put this on top so you just want to make sure that your ink is fully cured so this is what I'm doing I put a layer down all over the shirt and then I put this on top and then I cure it just like so for 30 seconds between 15 seconds and 30 seconds this is a, for some reason I was doing something for 30 seconds so I just left it at 30 seconds. So between 15 and 30, just like I just said, gives me the final cure that I need and the t-shirt is done. You need to be 200 Celsius. I don't know what that is in degrees, but I put it at 200 Celsius. It's not too hot, but it's not too cold. There's 30. 
and then you just want to and that gives it the cure that it needs Say you want to fold your t-shirt, we have a folded up t-shirt right here, we're going to redo them, but we have, you have your t-shirts and you're done, you want to fold them up and you're tired of not folding them up correctly without, the, like, you want a t-shirt board, there's a way to make it out of cardboard, we got it right here, so you want to take your t-shirt and you want to lay it down, graphic side down, because when you fold your t-shirt, on your board just like so without anything getting in the way you fold one side and fold the other side make sure it's neat and then you fold fold this side up like so, and then you fold this side down, like so. You have a nice folded up t-shirt. Then you can put that there in your deal. It used for any size. This is extra large, that's a medium. So you wanna take your shirt, boom, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Fold it. Do, 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 do. Just like so. Make sure it's all straightened out. You want to take it. Bam. Bam. Fold it up. Man. And then you got the movement. And now it's ready to be bagged up and shipped it out. I still smell spaghetti. <laughs> I don't know. You don't smell it? No. Okay. 